So now we are on to the Bollinger, uh, Bollinger Bands percentage B, the levels to watch out for and the triggers. Okay, so two key levels over here, 0.6 on the way up, okay, and 0.2 on the way down. You already learned the concept. You know that one at one it will touch the upper band. Okay, so when it crosses 0 0.6, it means it's got more chances of it heading towards 1 then coming down. Okay, so 0 0.6 on the way up, 0 0.2 on the way down. You can play it on the charts and check. The second thing is, what time period will you, will you choose? We are looking at an absolutely crazy market, you know, it opens 100, 200 points, gap up and then either it becomes choppy or keeps continuing. For the record now, Dow is up 266 points. But now we are also looking at the lockdown extension. The lockdown extension is extremely, extremely bad news for capitalists, the industry. It is good news from the public side, from the health point of view. So tomorrow it is possible that looking at the Dow queues, the market will open up and then maybe there will be some reaction later. We don't know. Anyway, so in what the point is that in this sort of market, you, you cannot work with minutes. If the market is trending, you can work with 5 minutes, you can work with 10 minutes, you can work with 15 minutes. But you must combine it with price action. Okay. In a non-trending market like this, it is better to work at least for, you know, at least if you are doing day trading, you use one hour or one day or two hours up to one day. If you are using swing trading, use one week. But swing trading again in this market is extremely dangerous. For example, I have got this HDFC bank here, you know, you can see over here, this is the, uh, this is the daily chart. You see, when the days were okay, when uh, it crossed 0.6, over here, you know, this is on 20th of September 2019. It still did not, it did, still did not, you know, give the desired result. It went up, it came down. So, another thing is that this has got a 70% chance of working, this Bollinger Bands percentage B. If you want it to become, if you want it to become a more foolproof system, you can apply two EMAs. To your uh, bowling uh, to to the uh, overlay two EMAs. One is the five EMA. One is the second EMA. Both the EMAs, the lines should have to be should be rising. How will you set it up in a screener? Is that you will say that EMA seven is uh, daily EMA seven or whatever period you choose is greater than six day uh, six day EMA whatever period. Okay, so if seven is greater than six, the line is rising, right? So that is how you make a screener with that. Screeners, I've already shown you how to make. You already know how to do that. Otherwise, you can refer to my charting video. But 0.6, good for all three, for day, week, month in this market. Okay. On trending market, it's good even for five minutes. Just make sure, apply that EMA filter and make sure that the EMA is rising. The EMA 7 is rising over the 6. Okay, so that is extremely important. So right now we can see, we can take a couple of examples over here. And also there's one more thing. Do not forget that. I have told you that you should be, you should have some proficiency in price action. Right. For example, if you see here, you know, uh, out here, this has broken 0.2 over here right but the volumes are low right you won't take action you will take action here when the volumes increase significantly right when it breaks breaks below point when it is below 0.2 and it also breaks the lower bollinger band okay you may not take you may choose not to take the action here despite it breaking the 0.2 barrier right so understanding price action putting on EMAs, number three, following these levels, 0 0.6 and 0 0.2 is very important. Make your screeners based on the knowledge you have gained here. And if you have any 
questions feel free to ask in the comments and i'll be happy to reply thanks and uh, bye this does not conclude the bollinger bands there's still two three videos to go so thanks for viewing and bye